amazing to see. Do I bring the legs down or I mean, um, what do you want? You want your feet like this or you want to like this? I feel like it'd be easier to do a high five. Ready? Set. So I'm going to do 30. You don't have to do that many. Okay. Uh, I think we need to get this I think in order to understand what you want in life, you have to understand why okay. you are the way you are. Okay. And so one of the things you list in right. the book is Ready? the pedal principle. Okay. Ready, that. set, Correct. go. And if I am, why don't we start today with you explaining to us about us, because I think that's what this does. not dumb if we had a like house like this we'd only want people who lived there to swim in it Doesn't look too bad, does it hurt? No. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad to you, does it, Mom? No. I'm glad it stopped bleeding. Does he need stitches? Um, I think if we, we need took... to stitch it together with some string. No, I would say if, we what? Took, if we took him in, they would probably put a couple stitches in, but we can do these tight tightener things. I want it hurt. No. I mean, okay. it'll throb a little bit, but it won't feel any worse than if you scraped your knee. Okay? Calm down. Okay. Do you need to look at it in the mirror? Look at it. <laughs> look at it. No, what? Yes, look at it. It's not that bad. See? It's gonna look, it's gonna look pretty cool. Don't be sorry. Dude, I'd be out. freaking out too. <laughs> Dad and I freaked out a little bit too. Shut up, Momo. It doesn't. Yeah. Ouch. What's up? 
It was probably just um, a nail. Oh no, you were nailing me. Were you, Mama? I don't like the feeling in my belly. <laughs> Tornado warning going on right now. You can hear it in the background. Um, but we got our neighbors just out lounging on the porch. So I'm a Wyoming girl. Okay, I'm from the mountains. I freak out very easily. Just watching the neighbors just lounging out on their porches, trying to just feel feel the temperature of everybody. And it looks like they're chill. So <sighs> deep breaths. There has been times that um, I have wondered how I would handle situations, um, like if my children were in danger or if I was in danger, and um, I'm, I always think that I'd do pretty good because I think my, like, I feel like I'm a little aggressive when it comes to that sort of stuff anyways, just because of my um, past and my history or whatever of that sort of stuff, being super protective over my mom and my sister um, a lot and kind of just being a bulldozer that way. Um, so I've often wondered how I would handle situations like with my children as a mom and um, like myself. Anyway, um, so like the storm got really bad like 15 minutes ago or something like that and wind was howling, the rain was so heavy. We heard hail hitting our windows and stuff like that and I just started screaming and demanding, <laughs> just yelling at the storm. And so like, and I was not sheltered, I just stepped out and started speaking to it or whatever. So I just, like, it was interesting to me. And, like, obviously you have to be in the heat of the moment to even understand. And maybe you don't understand or wouldn't understand, but when you feel like uh, you're threatened or, like, this may be the end or, like, your children are in danger because they're behind me right now in the bathroom, in the bathtub. What's your place? I died. So when we're, when we're in this position, when I'm in this position and Dakota is at work, um, my fear kind of like it was there. I was still shaking so bad, but I just stepped out and took command. And if I can do that to a natural weather phenomenon, I'm pretty sure that I could do that in any dangerous situation. And yeah, I, I feel pretty confident, like even when I'm fucking scared and shaking saying but going through storms like that is a workout all in itself especially if you're an active storm fighter <laughs> like me anyway here's the update that y'all been asking for and i am happy to provide it sunshine Look at that sunshine. Love it.